Sophie, how are you? I hate you so fucking much. Hello, darling. I'm fine. How are you? You kill the music for a minute. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something. I know, that's why I'm recording. Why? Because we haven't done a vlog for ages. How is this our vlog? Yeah, but you've got to is it? This, this, the conversation that you and uh, and Shaw were having. Emma Sanderman. We're having. Ooh, yeah, she's getting the full fucking main bitch. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fucking fuck it. Well, I thought. Shall, goddamn Emma. As we haven't vlogged for uh, for a while, in fact, since New Year's. You thought you'd throw, uh, throw Sean at Emma down the fucking drain, did you? Well, I thought the, bus. The, the conversation that you guys were having about YouTube, I thought was was quite interesting, and I thought that uh, our, our followers may be interested in, in, well, well, in this like, conversation. It's Charles' lack of like like caring about her security settings and me being a paranoid bastard. It's a bad combo, baby. Is all I'm saying, right? Because I'm like super paranoid, and Charles obviously doesn't give a fuck. Just doesn't give a fuck. Like this is how identity thieves get you shit, man. And, right. and Sam's just being quiet. Yeah, that's because Sam knows what to say. He's like, oh, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> right. My view on the thing, right, uh-huh. is like, come on, I'm, I'm loving this one. <laughs> I don't have a view on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Right, right. Hear up, everyone, right? Seriously, guys, right? I don't have a view on it, so that's my view. <laughs> you're a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> Your view is you don't have a view on it. Right, okay, so these days, data <laughs> is fucking king, right? Data, da- data, data, oh, data, D-A-T-A, okay. like, you know. Okay, I thought dense was a men- oh. no, the offshoot of menstruals. <laughs> no, you you need to be a fucking denser. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> like, dude, well, like, seriously, on Facebook, all of these things, you've got, like, metadata involved in that, embedded in you, so locations. Um, information what? that you put out on your privacy data so you've got your birthday you've got your full name you've got where you live even down to what phone you're using exactly uh, you know taking a picture by an iPhone taking a picture by Samsung t- location settings everybody by default most of these apps have their location settings on most of them by default have the privacy setting probably off and the reason for that is that they can let and use that information and their data mining companies do sell this. it and they've been doing it for fucking years but what they do is they collect data and then they predict so that they can essentially use psychology and statistical analysis to figure out how to best market stuff to you so that they can try and target you as a market and an audience. Don't play into the fucking system is what I'm trying to say. Well, I have not a clue about any of this shit. Mate, I don't know No, about... no, 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 you know. No, 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 no. You are a grown-ass fucking woman, right? You cannot fucking plead ignorance on this because all you need to do is go to settings and read what the options are. Like, dude... You settings. There are settings on apps. Like you can't just be like, it's fine. I just bought an app. It's fine. I just assumed like it would all go. No, you've got to look on settings for shit. Like so, for example, there have been problems where people have like they they've literally been um, ousted about being gay um, uh, on Facebook, even though they haven't said anything because they're data mining and the way that they've they've linked to all of their profiles over the whole internet means that they've been able. The computer has been and, and the people. That she hadn't got come out to a friend yet. Shit like that happens because people put too much of their data out and they just treat it really cavalierly. So, like, oh, it's my data. But so, there is an app for free. I've never treated no, no, no. If there's an app for free, then there's something they are taking from you because you are the product. So, uh, so uh, some of it, some of it's actually useful. So yeah, she's really paranoid. So I look at it right. If you go I on, I don't know about. I, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm genuinely uh-huh. learning. I'm a complete. So when you take a photograph, when it comes to this when you shit. take a photograph, there is metadata. There's metadata so about where it's taken. Metadata? So, so this is what I mean. So, so the like data if, in the actual. If you photograph. fucking let me finish my sentence, you dick. I was going to say when you take that photo in the electrical fucking evidence of it, the way that it's it's created, that the computer reads it. There is metadata in there. That's the time it's taken, where it's taken. Um, what lo- phone yeah, took what it. Yeah, what phone took it, location, all that kind of thing. And and with that information, you can build a lot from snippets of information into then marketing for, for people. And it's really easy to steal so the, so, data. So the, 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 one, okay. the obvious way so that... how do I change it? Settings. Sorry, Nick. What so the obvious way that... Or the, the way that they do it is if you go on eBay or Amazon yeah. and look at something, yeah, and come off of Facebook. that and then go straight on Facebook, the first advert you will see is another company selling the product that you just looked at on Amazon. Exactly. And that's because of the metadata all linking up from your profiles. Because Facebook knows that you... From... I've never looked on Amazon on that phone. No, no, but you no, get no, my point. No, that's so not... no, but can I, I... That's what I'm yeah. saying. I've never... I've got... I've downloaded the app. So when you I've see... never set it up. Yeah, so yeah. now... 
if I go on Amazon now and you created one, you yeah. You, right. The thing is, with any app, so like for example, your YouTube, YouTube app. No, you're on YouTube, right? Go onto your settings on YouTube. So if you go onto your profile, yeah. right. So, so I don't on. know. I I literally I go on. I listen to music. That's all I do. I watch documentaries. <laughs> but have you no, have you noticed when you go on Facebook afterwards though? It's showing you videos that are something to do with the video you just watched. Yeah, no, because I really don't go on Facebook that much. Yeah. Well, so that... No, like, I, so, I genuinely and, don't. And, and it's not necessarily something you have to be worried about. So I look at it and go oh, the yeah. other way. She goes, they're not finding anything oh, from me. me. I go, I don't care. I have nothing to hide. And actually, I find Dude, it... that's not... That's not I, no, that's not... To hide, and, and, and I find it useful that it... Give, it shows me the alternatives to what I've been looking at because if I'm looking at a product, it will show me another similar product that I may not have looked at. And if it's a video, because I've been watching YouTube, quite often the videos it brings up as suggestions on Facebook are actually interesting videos. Yeah, but the problem with that is that the, you then become stuck in your own echo chamber because yeah. it's only recommending things which, that you're already looking which for. Is why, you never get the which is why. Which is why you'll side. see me the other, or sometimes on Facebook just randomly clicking on other stuff yeah. because I don't want my news feed full of just the stuff that I look oh, yeah. at. I want it to show me new stuff. Yeah. And the only way you can get it to do that is by looking at stuff that you wouldn't normally look at. So, so break your profile, because then it'll go, oh, so let's just say I've been looking at uh, holidays, and it's been showing me lots I of holiday stuff. I, I, you, I could then go, okay, then I want to look at TV programs. And I just randomly press something to do with that. So then it'll start bringing in TV programs into that news feed. So if you keep going like that, after a while, you can play their algorithm uh, at its uh, own game. Yeah, okay. Because that way I get stuff that I actually want to look at. There's not much stuff that I skip past anymore because the algorithm is giving me stuff that I want. Now, there is a danger in that, in that I only see stuff that I want to see, whereas mm -hmm. sometimes to learn, you have to see stuff that you don't want to see. For example, you like Dance Monkey, so when you look at what you look up on YouTube, it's influenced by what you look up on YouTube. So the first video, the first dance video that comes me. up for me, because I listen to that every day, exactly. is that yeah. too. Yeah. So if you go to the C, that's your profile. Right, and then if you go down to the bottom, see your data in YouTube, you can actually see it all if you want. And then you can go to all of it, so you can go to the general autoplay. So, with autoplay, when finishing, uh, yep, so then you wanted the um, there's a remind one on here somewhere that that's the one you want to change. But if you look in general, one so remind me to take a break off dark theme or light theme, dark theme, you know, like but yeah, but the thing is, you can go through each one of these and try them and see what it does. Explore the settings. The settings are the most interesting part. That and the terms and conditions. So I think Not that the, anyone believes me when I say that. So I think the summary of this yeah, little vlog um, is that it's yeah, worth, no, you explore, worth checking your settings. Is, nobody understands the settings of something until they go around and poke it and change it and see what happens. So yeah, so I think the summary of this is that uh, keep an eye on your settings, know what it is that you're putting on the internet. Be don't... careful of your data because it's more important yeah. than you think. And once you've Be... sold it or once it's gone, you can't get it back. It's a bit like tearing be, up be paper and throwing it into the wind. And I would say be informed, don't be paranoid. No, I... Mm, I mm. Yeah, well, that's just you. So anyway, we'll sign off now because we've done uh, eight minutes of you two waffling on about internet security. I'm not and waffling. <laughs> no, I know, it's a very valid, bloody paranoia. And she's fucking useless. So, so actually, that was very productive until you interrupted me. <laughs> So uh, please like, uh, please like our channel. Uh, give us some comments on what you want us to talk about, and uh, hit have that nice subscribe. Have yeah. and hit that subscribe button. Have fun.